Hey everybody, it's Matt and it is Maniac Monday. I am so happy to see each and every one of your faces today. I hope all of you are having a fantastic day thus far. Mine's been nice and uh, um, chill, which is what I like. My kind of day so far. And to, to, to add on to my kind of day so far, I got a fantastic one for you. It's from 1983. Um, it's starring uh, Michael Robert Coleman, George, Charles George Hildebrandt, James Brewster, Elisa Neal, Karen T. Yeah, I'm not going to pronounce that one. Tom DeFranco, Jason Schmierling, and Ethel Mickelson, directed by Douglas McCown, and that is none other than Deadly Spawn. This is a fantastic movie, guys. I, this is one I hope each and every one of you decide to go out and see after watching this if you have not seen this this by the way is the uh synapse release it is uh I, it is my very first synapse re uh film i've ever got i've had it for probably 12 years or so if not longer it is let me open her up no reversible cover art as usual and we got our standard dvd in here with a nice little insert, which has got some cool artwork on there, and a little chapter chapter index, which is neat. And let me uh, this one does have special features on it, guys. Let me get it up here, and you guys can pause it and take a gander at that. All right, guys. Yes, that is the Deadly Spawn. This is a fantastic one. This is one I hope all of you check out. Uh, what is it about? Well, it starts out with um, this meteorite. These these people are camping out in the middle of the woods, doing their thing. Um, a meteorite. They see a meteorite land. It's within walking distance. They go go to it. Lo and behold, it's the deadly spawn, which they are these little these little worm snake type creatures with uh, big teeth, which you can see here on on the on the. The thing, and they grow up to be big, much, much larger, as a matter of fact. Um, I do kind of chuckle. They kind of, if you look, they kind of, at them enough, they look like penises with teeth. <laughs> yes, that is, yes, they look like penises with teeth. But so, they run into the deadly spawn, blah, 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 blah. Fast forward, the deadly spawn have found themselves in this, this uh, farmhouse's basement. Now, what they're doing down there is is actually reproducing because it is a ideal environment. It is cold, dark, full of water, um, quite not a lot of sound going on because they they're not they can't see. They they can only hear. Um, they run on 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 that. There's no no eyeballs to them. Now. Um, so you got them down there, and then you got it starts out with this mother and fa the mother and father of the the main the main two children in this film. They are the husband goes downstairs, blah blah blah, gets eaten. Wife eventually goes downstairs, blah blah blah. I laugh though because there's there's no boobies in the whole movie except for the moms. And they're not like you got you see see them. Yeah, they're in a uh, little. You're you're in a negligee that you can see through, which is it's like I don't even want to see this lady's boobs in the first place. Um, why why is she wearing this lacy little thing for us? It's just like ugh. it made my it made me not so happy in my trousers. <laughs> um, so. They get eaten, blah, 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 blah. You fast forward to later that day, you're you're greeted with their two sons. And the at, at the same time, and the aunt and the uncle have decided, they are staying at the house while the parents are gone. Nobody realizes that the parents are gone in a different sense. They're not, not like gone on their vacation. They're gone like as in they're dead, you know. Um, 
So th- there's that going on. There's a whole scene that's fantastic to ha- that has to do with like ladies and vegetarians and and a special green sauce and oh, it is just so good. And and these creatures, the the way they move around is awesome. Like you can tell they uh, their wires run under the water that you can't really see, and then there's there's little animatronic little puppets, you know. They're very, very cool looking. Um, uh, was what? Who did it? It was Ra or oh, John Dodds. John Dodds did the effects on here, which he ended up going on to do the uh, X Files movie, and then he did Spookies, which I'm excuse me, I've never seen, but I've heard great things of it. Uh, and then of course he did the monster, did some monsters uh, episodes or some episodes on the monsters TV series from the eighties, which was a uh, a fun little series. Um, I have the complete collection of it. I've gone through and watched every episode a couple of times. It's it's a fun one. As a matter of fact, next year I'll be due for another rerun from it. Now this one though, I watch probably two or three times a year. Um, I know it inside and out. This is, uh, uh, f- let me, s- oh, and by the way, to- Todd Hall, or what is his name? Tom Hall- Holland has something to do with this. I think he wrote it or something along that nature, which my mind is forgetting all of a sudden. I don't know why I brought that up if I can't remember it, but, um, so you're back to the uh, the parents are gone. The aunt and uncle are take are there to s- take care of them. The uncle is a psychiatrist and thinks he needs to um, go past that conflict of interest and and do his work on the the youngest son, which um, by the way is is a uh, a little horror nerd. He wears a Dracula's cape. He pulls little little stunts and and he's got like a like I don't know, it's hard to explain. He he pulls little scare he does little scary things to to scare the other people in the movie. Like at one point he has on like this he's on a chair and he has this head, and then the cape, you can't see him under there, and then as soon as the door open, the the smoke lets out, and he, you know, and lo and behold, I'm going to scare you. Uh, one of those numbers. <coughs> um, does it scare, the, scare them? I can't remember right now off the top of my head. I'm going to say probably not, because it was pretty hokey looking, and it was something. It wasn't like watching Nightmare where you had a kid in a costume like that, and it, and it actually looked creepy. Um, which, by the way, I will be reviewing Nightmare this week. That is a, a, an interesting one. One, I don't know exactly how I feel about it yet. We will find out probably on Wednesday. Uh, tomorrow I have a have one for you. It uh, is not good. I tried... Or I did watch it... Um, not for me. Terrible Tuesday tomorrow. Um, now for Monday's ratings uh, today, like as far as a one through five rating on this one, um, on the technical side, I'm going to give it a three. It's right in the middle of the road. No, no insane um, stunts going on. Nothing as far as like. Um, crazy camera angles go uh it's not like like it's they're little evil aliens and there's a lot of them you see them quite often so that helps the gore is decent for its time for 1983 i can't complain um the uh the mother at the very beginning she gets her head chopped off or chomped off and when they do it they do it like it actually like here you see a dead body but when they do it this big one here in the in the middle the big one he bites this this lady's head off and it's like rips apart the face it's very very cool looking it was a a nice little gore gag for its time 
Um, so do do be on the lookout for little gore gags sprinkled throughout because the uh, the red stuff does flow in this one. It does not does not uh, uh, disappoint. I was constantly happy in this one. There's no dull parts. Um, I never find myself looking at, at my watch that doesn't exist or um, uh, playing with my phone. That's usually what it is. If it if it bores me that much, then that means I don't either A, like it, or it's boring. Um, <clears throat> as far So I gave it a 3 on the technical... Uh, as far as entertainment, let's go ahead and give that one a four. Uh, this one is above average. It's very, very fun. Um, it's, it would, I think it'd be a great party movie, this one here, because there, some of the gags are just so over the top and ridiculous. I think they'd be fun to watch with a group of people. Uh, all right, guys, you know, I have blabbed on long enough about the Deadly Spawn. I hope all of you guys check it out. I hope you're having a great morning, evening, dawn, day, or dusk, whenever it is when you're watching this. I hope you're having a great time with some family, with some friends, with some loved ones, doing whatever it is that makes you happy because that's always what's most important in life. All right, guys, peace as always.